Hi, this is Simon Obstol and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today I wanted to show you how to do this Apple style kinetic typography. So pretty simple, but it's all about doing it in the most efficient way possible. So let's take a look. OK, so for this project, let's go with 1920, 1080, 30 frames a second and a duration of three seconds. So let's select the text tool and type out our text. So there we go. Let's center align it. Let's come over to properties. Let's reset the position. Let's come over here and just bring the size up like that. OK, so we're going to animate the text using a sequence text behavior. So text animation, sequence text. We're going to add format opacity and set that value down to zero. So we want to set the spread to zero and we want to set the speed to custom. So let's come forward to, I think, about 10 frames and let's just adjust that custom speed until the entire word Apple is visible. Let's come forward to, I don't know, roughly 20 frames. And let's make sure that flavored is all visible. So I'm just advancing that custom speed slider each time. 30 frames, got kinetic, and then typography will type on in the rest of the time. Let's open up the keyframe editor and just have a look at what we've got here. We want to move that last keyframe back, I think. So, or rather, what we can probably do is come to frame 50, maybe, and just set that custom speed to 100%. I'm also going to delete the first keyframe and then I'm going to select these first three keyframes and I'm going to ease out just so we've got a, a snappier animation like that. Obviously, we can move these keyframes to wherever we want them. It's fine. We can do it now. We can do it later. It doesn't really matter. So the thing that we want to be able to do is we want this line to shift along so it's always centered. So we can do that in the following fashion. We're going to take the text layer. We're going to come to properties, position, X position. We're going to add parameter behavior link. We're going to use that text layer as the source. For the source parameter, we're going to come to behaviors, sequence text, controls, and custom speed. And we're going to set that custom speed down to negative 100. Now, what I need to be able to do is I need to adjust this scale. So sort of something like negative 0.4. And it, you know, it's going to be different depending on the length of text that we've got. So rather than do it this way, let's add this to a rig and a slider. It's just going to make it an awful lot easier because we can narrow down the range. So I want my minimum value to be negative one click on here, set this to zero. So now let's hide the keyframe editor. Let's turn on the overlays and turn on grid. So let's right at the beginning here, let's have a look at where we want this to be. So we can adjust this slider until the word Apple is in the middle like that. And then everything works. We're perfectly centered up at the end and we're centered up at the beginning. So there you go. That's our effect. So if we wanted to change these speeds, we could just, you know, move these around. We could make typography come on earlier. So I've selected that last keyframe. I'm just going to type negative two and that just moves that keyframe earlier. And of course, because our position is linked to that, it all ties up nicely. And if we wanted to change these keyframes, you know, so this one here, we could make that ease in. Again, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to work. Let's make that one ease in as well. The position is always going to follow regardless of what we do here, like so. So we've got that. So if we wanted to have some different text, we could, for example, make this kinetic type instead. So we do have to do a little bit of adjustment here. So we need to select our sequence text, show that in the keyframe editor. It doesn't always come up where we want it to. So we need to come to our first frame. We need to set that custom speed again. So we just see Apple come to the next keyframe, just set that to say flavored, come forward to the next keyframe, make sure kinetic is visible. And then obviously type is going to come on like that. And all we need to do again is come to the front and just adjust our slider here so that Apple is in the middle like that at the beginning. Everything works. 
Very, very easy. So that's quite a handy little trick. This link really makes life so much easier because you don't actually have to worry about keyframing the position. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.